These are some cool work over here, so we're gonna meet the artist. And here's the guy over here. Which tell me about yourself, Bob. Uh, my name's Bob Myers. Uh, I was uh, born legally blind and colorblind. So, but this is a hobby I've been into since I was a child. Uh, tried to go to college for it, couldn't get into college. Uh, my father went blind from uh, St. Macri's generation. Same thing that I had. Um, but this is what my art, what I've been doing uh, since the COVID-19. I've just been kind of keeping myself separated and give myself something to do and get my brain to keep tinkering. And you're uh, born legally blind and colorblind, right? Yes. That's crazy, man. It's great work over here. Just trying to get some work. Okay, good deal, man. I'm going to take some videos and this is a big piece over here. Very nice. And, and talk, talk to me about this Boston thing. Uh, yeah, Boston is actually started out as the uh, first uh, uh, Boston album cover from the band Boston. And uh, as I worked on it, uh, it turned into two separate uh, drawings uh, at once. You, you kind of had to have a, a third eye or uh, just look with your peripheral uh, to see it. But uh, there's like two drawings in one. It's the guitar, it's the spaceship with the flames, and then you got a helmet. It looks like a, kind of a space alien uh, with the beard, with the twist of beard, and so on and so forth. But uh, my prize position is actually this right here. That's your prize position. Yeah. Tell me about that. What is that? Uh, it, this is actually a Rick and Morty. This, uh, I got it from a buddy's t-shirt, and it starts out as it goes like this. This is a wormhole, and that's a wormhole over here, so it's a, they time travel. They shot through the wormhole, scorched the earth as they blew past it, disrupted the heavens pissed off the Imperial force. As they come back, as the line comes back around, back this way, you're seeing the smoke and everything, and they're coming back up to you. Just to be nailed by a meteor. <laughs> Got you. But uh, you know what, my favorite one is this Ford. Tell me about it, what is that? Uh, that was one of the first things I've done uh, since I, when I was first moved in here. Uh, it, actually, there's a movie called uh, Ford versus Ferrari. Okay. And uh, I started out as a, uh, Ford uh, versus Ferrari. I did not. In, I did not finish the Ferrari, but uh, the Ford uh, Mustang was uh, kind of something that I got off of Ken Block. Uh, he's a race car driver. Gotcha. And he drives nothing but Fords, so that's kind of something I had in mind. And how about the Foo Fighters? Foo Fighters here. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to try to get the address of Foo Fighters and send it off. Okay. And, and maybe they'll uh, uh, sign it and send it back, or if they want. They could use it as an album cover and use it for like a screen printing. Gotcha. And I would even be more happy about that. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, Bob, are you on Facebook or anything like that or any social media? No, no. no? That's right yet. I'm kind of computer illiterate. Okay. So what is the best way for them to reach you at? Um, can I give a phone number? Yeah, shout out a phone number, man. 502-614-0857. Yeah. And they can call or text you, right? Yes. There you go, man. Guys, check it out. Uh, just ran into this guy today. This, uh, is, a, this is still working. Progress. Still a working progress, but uh, yeah. guy who's colorblind, born colorblind, and was the other one colorblind? Then macular degeneration. There you go. And he can do all these things. And you know, the guy looked like a teenager. I thought he was like 20 years old, but hey. Uh, he, he got the skills and I was blown away. So if anybody wanna give Bob a call and you know he can paint this on the wall or give him ideas, he's ready to work. He's a willing guy ready to work. Actually so, these are all these are all done by Sharpies. There, there you go, it's done by Sharpies. So yeah. if you give him the other the real deal, the real paint, he can turn that into magic. So it's probably about two hundred and fifty dollars worth of Sharpies on this. Wow, one. okay. Well Bob, thank you for your time man. Thank you.